Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 31st, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, as we have reported multiple strong solar flares, M-class solar flares, Earth-facing. Noted in a video last night and as well in the daily shorts having a look at the last 48 hours incoming this is where we have those large earth facing sunspots popping off strong m-class solar flares little plasma tornado cresting into view looking at outgoing regions here it was not too active but those solar flares that were earth directed did produce a coronal mass ejection right at us so solar storm is expected tomorrow having a look at multi-spectrum pointing out the last 48 hours of events of course active sunspot region 4100 and as well another sunspot coming in behind with an m-class solar flare coronal hole regions northern and southern stretching towards each other stay safe stay aware and prepared our sun is going through some great changes what is going on with our sun? Solar maximum is one thing. But the sunspot sizes and the amount of M-class solar flares we've seen over this last little bit. Gotta wonder what our sun's got in store for us next. Well, stay tuned, everybody, and thank you so much for pressing play today. Having a look at these sunspot regions right now, 4100 and 4099, very large complex sunspot regions so heads up current space weather conditions we are under r2 level 2 moderate radio blackout impacts expected you can see in the absorption prediction map we were radiated throughout the day today level 2 and as well solar radiation storm impacts level 1 minor impacts on high frequency radio in the polar regions Solar winds are coming in at 692 kilometers per second, and that's due to that Earth-facing coronal hole that we've been dealing with. Current solar X-ray flux, multiple M-class solar flares, strong long-duration M-flare yesterday, solar proton flux rising steadily into the level 1 range, geomagnetic activity sitting at KP3 for today. Space Weather Prediction Center has updated their space weather spiral Look at this fast paced coronal mass ejection heading towards Earth. Expected arrival in the wee hours of the morning tomorrow night. First few hours of June 1st will be the arrival time. Right at about 7 or 8 a.m. UTC time. So just before sunrise. Looking at Alaska 2, or Alaska 3, showing the wide spectrum. Venus going in behind for a retrograde. And as well, massive halo CME. Right at us, folks. You can see in the last few images, those bright stars and fiery things flashing in front of the view here. That is an instant solar radiation storm. On its way. To our planet big halo cme stay aware and prepared let's get to earthquakes as most times during geomagnetic events we do see an increase in earthquakes as well the magnitude started off with a 6.0 earthquake kashiro japan off the coast 6.0 followed by four aftershocks as well kermadec islands region reporting a 6.1 magnitude earthquake followed by a 6.2 earthquake. Deepest earthquake the past 24 hours, 4.5 here. Izu Islands region, Japan, 430 kilometer depth. That's north of Nishinashima. All around the Banda Sea, seeing activity, but quiet through the region. Quiet through the African plate. 5.3 earthquake there, South Sandwich Islands. Quiet through the Caribbean. Very quiet through the central United, uh, Central Americas, across North American soil. 
We are seeing an increase in seismicity, especially through White City, New Mexico, and as well through the state of California. Have a look here at USGS as they're reporting 241 earthquakes in the map area the last 24 hours. So that is slightly above average. All of the red dots being the most recent earthquakes activity from White City, New Mexico, California, up into the Pacific Northwest, but notable earthquakes here. Rosman, North, Cal uh, North Carolina, Gainesville, Missouri, and as well, Hill City, Kansas, minor seismicity all across the New Madrid, up into the Pacific Northwest towards Seattle, Echo Lake, Washington. Quick look here, overlooking Los Angeles and the state of California, all of their most recent earthquakes, notable minor seismicity around the San Fran Bay area. And as well, having a look here at the Springs, Cobb Mountain at the Geysers. Right now, they're reporting 52 in the region, just south of Clear Lake, California. One of the pressure relief valves for California. Other than that, that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Here's a glance at the last seven days for shakers and movers around the world going to take a quick moment to thank you all for watching and tell you all to just have a plan and be ready if you live in an earthquake prone zone have a plan and be ready stay safe and healthy out there aware and prepared and thank you for being a part of this family being a part of this channel i appreciate your loyalty and your patience during a time in a transition with a very fast growing channel be sure to follow on all social media platforms as on Facebook. Profile is growing over there. If you're on Facebook, please look me up. Mike Milks or look up daily events worldwide. You'll find everything associated. Much love. Now let's have a look at the SO2 forecast brought to you by the 79 active and erupting volcanoes around the world. And as well, wildfires burning across the Canadian prairies, and as well now into parts of northern BC and northwest territories. Kilauea, notable volcano all week long. Fires are burning across Russia as well, western and eastern Russia. Notable plume coming out of Nishinashima towards Guam, and as well Sumatra. Overlooking Africa and Europe. No new plumes to report. No new major eruptions to report. But still, 79 active interrupting volcanoes and dozens of fires burning across the Canadian prairies. As you can see here, satellite imagery, wildfire smoke from these fires is already sweeping across the Atlantic, heading towards the United Kingdom and Ireland right now. And a big plume of wildfire smoke is sweeping across the nation right now into the United States and across Canada. Not only that, we've got a huge Saharan dust storm that is blowing out into the central Atlantic. But look at this satellite imagery of these wildfires that are burning in Canada. That smoke is totally inundated all of eastern the United States. Getting ready to sweep across Ontario, and as you can see here, wildfire smoke sweeping right into even parts of Poland, Denmark, nasty air quality around the world. Going through these great changes together, much love everybody and prayers for humanity. It's all about staying aware and prepared. Hashtag no fear here, just aware and prepared. World weather, multiple systems affecting Canada this week, most likely will bring snow to some regions. Extreme weather through central United States. Big high pressure ridge off the coast of California. Scooting all systems northward. Heading up and over the Rockies. Long range forecast shows pretty strong low pressure systems affecting most of Canada. It's going to be dry across the United States. No major hurricanes forecast just yet. But interesting developing system in the long range. Stay tuned as these models can change and do change quickly with any kind of space weather effects. Overlooking Europe, 
Africa, Southeast Asia. Watching for some moisture to start sweeping across the United Kingdom. Right during all that wildfire smoke is being swept in. Days upon days of rain for Ireland, the United Kingdom and parts of Northern Europe. Australia, watch for extreme weather events all week long. We're going to give a more detailed forecast with Australia. So stay tuned, my Aussie friends. We've got a pinpointed forecast coming to you. Going to leave you here overlooking the North Atlantic. As all these low pressure systems are scooting up and over, very strong and warm high pressure ridge in the East Pacific. Thank you, Kilauea. And as well, the other 78 active and erupting volcanoes around the world. If you enjoyed all this information today and visuals shared, please like, love, and share. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily do. Bye-bye now.